Good Tuesday morning to you. It's December the 28th of 2021. Only a few more days left in the year. And today we are reading Exodus 39. Um, And I'm going to read from the New King James Version. And Exodus 39 talks about making the garments of the priesthood, making the ephod, making the breastplate, making the other priestly garments, and the work is completed. Let's get into it. Of the blue, purple, and scarlet thread they made garments of a ministry for ministering in the holy place, and made the holy garments for Aaron as the Lord had commanded Moses. He made the ephod of gold, blue, purple, and scarlet thread, and of fine woven linen, and they beat the gold into thin sheets, and cut it into threads to work it in with the blue, purple, and scarlet thread and the fine linen into artistic designs. They made shoulder straps for it to couple it together. It was coupled together at its two edges, and the intricately woven band of his ephod that was on it was on the same was of the same workmanship, woven of gold, blue, purple, and scarlet thread, and of fine woven linen, as the Lord had commanded Moses. And they set onyx stones enclosed in settings of gold, They were engraved, as signets are engraved, with the names of the sons of Israel. He put them on the shoulders of the ephod as memorial stones for the sons of Israel, as the Lord had commanded Moses. And he made the breastplate artistically woven like the workmanship of the ephod, of gold, blue, purple, and scarlet thread, and of fine woven linen. They made the breastplate square by doubling it. A span was its length, and a span its width when doubled. And they set in it four rows of stones, a row with a sardius, a topaz, and an emerald was the first row. The second row, a turquoise, a sapphire, and a diamond. The third row, a jacinth, an agate, and an amethyst. The fourth row, a beryl, an onyx, and a jasper. They were enclosed in settings of gold in their mountings. They were t- There were twelve stones according to the names of the sons of Israel, according to their names, engraved like a signet, each one with its own name according to the twelve tribes. And they made chains for the breastplate at the ends, like braided cords of pure gold. They also made two settings of gold and two gold rings, and put the two rings on the two ends of the breastplate. And they put the two braided chains of gold in the two rings on the ends of the breastplate, The two ends of the two braided chains they fastened in the two settings and put them on the shoulder straps of the ephod in the front. And they made two rings of gold and put them on the two ends of the breastplate, on the edge of it, which was on the inward side of the ephod. They made two other gold rings and put them on the two shoulder straps underneath the ephod toward its front, right at the seam above the intricately woven band of the ephod. And they bound the breastplate by means of its rings to the rings of the ephod with a blue cord, so that it would be above the intricately woven band of the ephod, and that the breastplate would not come loose from the ephod as the Lord had commanded Moses. He made the robe of the ephod of woven work all of blue, and there was an opening in the middle of the robe, like the opening in a coat of mail, with a woven binding all around the opening so that it would not tear. They made on the hem of the robe pomegranates of blue, purple, and scarlet, and of fine woven linen. And they made bells of pure gold, and put the bells between the pomegranates on the hem of the robe, all around between the pomegranates, a bell and a pomegranate, a bell and a pomegranate, all around the hem of the robe, to minister in, as the Lord had commanded Moses. They made tunics artistically woven of fine linen for Aaron and his sons, a turban of fine linen, exquisite hats of fine linen, short trousers of fine woven linen, and a sash of fine woven linen with blue, purple, and scarlet thread made by a weaver as the Lord had commanded Moses. Then they made the plate of the holy crown of pure gold and wrote on it an inscription like the engraving of a signet, Holiness to the Lord. And they tied to it a blue cord to fasten it above the turban, as the Lord had commanded Moses. Thus all the work of the tabernacle of the tent of meeting was finished. And the children of Israel did according to all that the Lord had commanded Moses, so they did. 
And they brought the tabernacle to Moses, the tent and all its furnishings, its clasps, its boards, its bars, its pillars, and its sockets, the covering of ram skins dyed red, the covering of badger skins and the veil of the covering, the ark of the testimony with its poles and the mercy seat, the table, all its utensils, and the showbread, the pure gold lampstand with its lamps, the lamps set in order, all its utensils and the oil for the light, the gold altar, the anointing oil, and the sweet incense, the screen for the tabernacle door, the bronze altar and its grate of bronze, its poles and all its utensils, the laver with, with its base, the hangings of the court, its pillars and its sockets, the screen for the court gate, its cords and its pegs, all the utensils for the service of the tabernacle for the tent of meeting, and the garments of ministry, to minister in the holy place, the holy garments for Aaron the priest, and his son's garments, to minister as priests. According to all that the Lord had commanded Moses, so the children of Israel did all the work. Then Moses looked over all the work, and indeed they had done it as the Lord had commanded. Just so they had done it, and Moses blessed them. And that's the end of our chapter. Um, and I was reading through there, I was thinking about how, like, really there towards the end, in the section where the work is completed, and, I mean, it listed out everything they had made, and and how, <clears throat> like, just thinking about how many things there were, and how, you know, detailed those things were, and then it said that, you know, Moses looked over that, uh, because Moses was given the command of how to do all of that, and then I guess Moses had to communicate that out to the people who were going to actually do that, and and it said it was done right, and that, to me, I was like, I sometimes it's difficult when you're, and we've all played the, you know, the carousel game, I guess, where you whisper in somebody's ear and it changes, you know, for one, for Moses to have been given the, the instructions from God, and then Moses had to communicate those instructions to the people who were going to do the work, and for that at all to come back right, you know, I mean, that's, I mean, that's almost miraculous, you know, because we know that, you know, in our day and age, we give a, an instruction to do something, and, you know, it, it comes back mostly right, <laughs> um, but anyway, that's what I was thinking about, like, you know, how, how amazing it must have been and how almost miraculous it would have been for all of those different things to have been made and been made exactly as God had commanded them. And I, I mean, I think God obviously helped along in that. Um, but, you know, I don't know. People have a strange way of making things more difficult than it has to be, but they got it right. And, and so I think that was important. Anyway, let's uh, close in a word of prayer and Tomorrow is the last, the last chapter of Exodus, um, so I hope you'll join me tomorrow. And uh, anyway, as always, let's say a little word of prayer before we go. Father God, we uh, we thank you for today. God, we just pray that you would uh, help us to get things done right, um, just as as you were capable of doing then, Lord. We know you're capable of doing that now. And God, we just pray that you would um, put a hedge of protection around us, Lord, so that we would not. Um, fall victim to sin and god i just pray that you would uh, heal our nation lord and and god that you would get rid of the the covid um the covid bug as you as we would call it lord god i just pray that you would uh, just take that out of the way lord and god that your people would be able to to live free in this world lord without the uh without any threats and without any fear father god we just love you and we thank you for all that you do in jesus name we pray Amen.